In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Mass today. Mass today being offered for Paul Chalk. Also remembering Christine Galindo, Brian Hubbs, Paul Gallagher, and Stephen Sheila Nightingale. Our first reading today, the baptism of an Ethiopian foreshadows the further spread of the church. In the gospel, Jesus insists that the Father brings us to him and that he makes the Father known to us. Let's pause now for a moment to prepare. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when, by your gift, we have known it more fully so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Be ready to set out at noon along the road that goes from Jerusalem down to Gaza, the desert road. He set off on his journey. Now it happened that an Ethiopian had been on pilgrimage to Jerusalem. He was a eunuch and an officer of the court of the Kandak, or Queen of Ethiopia, and was in fact his, her tr chief treasurer. He was now on his way home. As he sat in his chariot, he was reading from the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go up and meet the charity, chariot. And when Philip ran up, he heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and asked, do you understand what you are reading? How can I, he replied, unless I have someone to guide me. So he invited Philip to get in with him and sit by his side. Now the passage of scripture he was reading was this, like a sheep that is led to the slaughterhouse like a lamb that is dumb in front of his shearers, like these who he will open his mouth. He has been humiliated and has no one to defend him. Who will ever talk to, about his descendants since his life on earth has been cut short? The eunuch turned to Philip and said, tell me, is the prophet referring to himself or to someone else? Startling, therefore, with this text of Scripture, Philip proceeded to explain the good news of Jesus to him. Further along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is some water over there. Is there anything to stop me being baptised? He, he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down to the water, and Philip baptised him. Now after they had come up out of the water again, Philip was taken away by the Spirit of the Lord, and the eunuch never saw him again, but went on his way rejoicing. 
Philip found that he had reached Azotus and continued his journey, proclaiming the good news in every town as far as Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry out to God, joy to God all the earth. O peoples, bless our God. Let the voice of the, his praise resound. Of the God whose life was to our souls and kept our feet from stumbling. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell what you did for my soul. To him I cried aloud, cry out with joy to God all the earth. Blessed be God who did not reject any prayer, nor withhold any love from me. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. The Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord who hung up for us upon the tree has risen from the bush, from the tomb. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowd, no one can come to me unless he is drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, they will all be taught by God, and to hear the teaching of the Father and learn from it is to come to me. Not that anybody has seen the Father except the one who comes from God. He has seen the Father. I tell you most solemnly, Everybody who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the desert, and they are dead. But this is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that a man may eat it and not die. I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. These readings from St. John that we're going through at the moment are a kind of call to think about what is faith for us. It's a, a mysterious thing, it comes from above. It means to be drawn by God, to be taught by God to have heard and learned from God. And it's a receptiveness that opens us to, to Christ, who is the, the bread of life. All bread, all other bread, sustains natural life, and there is a limit to that. But this, this bread, the bread that's Christ, is a, is a life forever, life forever. Let's pray now. Christ has risen from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Let us praise him in our prayer. Each prayer today ends, risen Lord, hear us. Risen Lord, hear us. Lord, remember the church you built on the apostles. Bless all those who believe in you. Risen Lord, hear us. You are the healer of body and soul. Come to us with your salvation. Risen Lord, hear us. Comfort the sick and renew their strength. Deliver them from all pain and distress. Risen Lord, hear us. Help the anguished and the oppressed. In your love, uphold the needy. Risen Lord, hear us. Through your cross and resurrection, you have won immortal life. Grant to our dead the joys of your kingdom. Risen Lord, hear us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. 
Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, make our hearts more open to your love in these days of Eastertide, when you have made known to us the depth of that love. You have rescued us from the darkness of error. Make us adhere more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away our iniquity. Cleanse me. Pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial lamb who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of you. Hosanna. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or the offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this divine participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Thus also your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Obedient to our Lord, let's pray in the words that he gave us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Can we bow to each other as a sign of peace? Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be The body of Christ. The blood of Christ.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you all for the Mass today. Keep safe and have a pleasant day. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's going peace to love and to serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia.